One of the misconceptions a lot of people have, they think of hospice as immediate end of life. The reality is that, that hospice is a service for the patient and for the family. The sooner that we have the patient and the family as part of our service, the, the better job that we can do for them. The great thing about Treasure Coast Hospice is, is that we are able to provide services in different places. There's many people who would like to be at home. We also have uh, patients that are in the nursing homes. We have patients in the assisted living facilities. We have patients that are in the hospital. We provide comfort, not just medical comfort for the patient, but the emotional comfort and the spiritual comfort for the patient and the family. In my wife's case, she remained at home. She was more comfortable at home than in a hospital setting. And hospice came in uh, regularly and provided uh, measurable services. Mother looked forward to seeing them every day. Hospice gave us that time because we knew that mom was going to have the best of care. They took time out on their own time to come by and do special little things for her. One of the main tenets of hospice care is acknowledging the fact that because there is so much going on that no one person or no one discipline can meet the total needs of a patient and a patient's family. We make sure that we bring in a whole host of people integrated into a team that works very closely together in a seamless way to make sure we're meeting every single need of both the patient and the patient's family. We have multiple physicians who do nothing but hospice full time and the majority of their time is spent doing um, home visits and house calls. In addition, we have hundreds of volunteers that make sure we're meeting the total needs of things far beyond just the medical and diagnosis related issues. The volunteers go in and spend the time with the patients, with the families. They have that volunteer who calls up or drops by to read to them, to pray with them, to talk with them. It's very special. She was getting worse and it was uh... We thought we needed some more help really at home and she had wanted to stay at home. When hospice came in they were wonderful with my father and it was my mother they were coming for but they always stopped and spoke to him, had a big smile for him and they usually stopped and gave him a hug or a kiss on the way out. I've had staff over the years say they're honored to be taking care of these patients. That's how they see it. The nurses have said it. They said you know, a lot of people ask me how can I do what I do and and the answer they give is always, how could I not do what I do? I really am very passionate as far as making sure that they receive the care that they deserve at this point in life. It's a very hard walk. It's very intense. And we need to be there for them.